बिस्मिल स्टूडेंट दिस इज़ अ लेक्चर फॉर क्लास सिक्स सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश टुडे दिस इज़ द लास्ट लेक्चर लेक्चर फाइव ऑफ वीक वन टुडे वी विल रिवाइज और डिस्कस अबाउट द एडजेक्टिव फॉर्म ऑफ एडजेक्टिव एंड काइंड ऑफ एडजेक्टिव आफ्टर दैट वी विल ट्रांसलेट सम सेंटेंसिस एंड देन प्रैक्टिस ऑफ सम स्पोकन वर्ड सो लेट्स स्टार्ट टू एवरी वन नोज डैट वट इज़ एन एडजेक्टिव एडजेक्टिव इज एन डिस्क्राइबिंग वर्ड और डिस्क्राइब एन नाउन वट इज दिस दिस इज अ पॉइंटर एम एन वी से इज इज अ ब्लैक पॉइंटर ब्लैक इज एन एडजेक्टिव इट डिस्क्राइब अ नाउन नाउन दैट इज पॉइंटर पॉइंटर इज अ नाउन सो वैन वी से ब्लैक पॉइंटर ब्लैक डिस्क्राइब अ नाउन ब्लैक डिस्क्राइब इट सो इट इज कॉल डिस्क्राइबिंग वर्ड सो हाउ मैनी Uh, now we have a lot of uh, uh, things that we can say that these are all uh, describing words first of all we mm, will revise or we will uh, learn about the form of adjectives form of adjective we can say also the degrees of adjective how many degrees of adjective we have three degrees of adjective positive comparative and superlative positive comparative and superlative once again positive comparative and superlative degrees we can say that it is a degree and we can say also that it is form of adjectives degrees of adjectives and form of adjectives what is positive positive means simply describe noun like that, that i have say, uh, said already that it is a black pointer it is a black pointer or it is a small pointer so black and small are just a simple words to describe a noun okay now we have the comparative degree comparative degree to compare two things or more it means that there are two things that compare to each other comparison hota hai jisme usko hum comparative kehte hain like i have a pencil i and a pointer when i say that this pencil is taller than the marker this pencil is taller than the pointer so taller it is comparatively i explored that it is a pencil and it is taller than a pointer so it means that i am compared the two things okay is that clear now now we have a superlative degree superlative degree we use a superlative degree when we compare more than two person or a things with one another and it is the highest degree of quality like i have three things i have three nouns uh, marker pointer and pencil when i said that this pencil is taller than the other two one or maybe i can say that this pencil is taller uh, than the marker and pointer so it means that i am i am um, explore and i am telling the quality of the pencil highest quality of the pencil that it is a pencil and it is the tallest one as compared to both of them so it is called superlative degree okay here is another example of uh, comparative superlative degrees and a positive degree like i am good in class main class mein acha hu good just a simple positive thing okay i am better than others in class main dusron se behtar hu class mein that is comparative you are com- comparing with the other class students that you are better than them then then is also indicate that it is a comparative degree okay i am better than other in class i am the best in class the best it means that it is the highest quality uh, that mai sabse best hu class mein sabse acha hu so it means that it is a superlative degree compare uh, positive degree comparative degree because there is a comparison between the uh, other fellows and the and the boy and here is i am the best in the class that is also that is superlative degree it is the highest quality degree so students let me show some degrees about the super, uh, positive comparative and superlative like cheap sasta hota hai theek hai cheap cheaper cheapest clean cleaner cleanest dear dearer dearest fear fearer fearest these are the degrees and you have to learn any 10 from this page take a picture or a, take a screenshot of this uh, this one and also learn any 
degrees of positive comparative and superlative of adjectives okay it will help you a lot in your creative work as well okay like thick thin warm weak weaker weakest tall taller tallest strong stronger strong i am a strong boy i am a strong, strong girl i am stronger than ali i am comparatively you know uh, explore the sentence then i am say i am the strongest one in the class or um, uh, among friends so it is it means that i i am using superlative degree students you should have to learn any 10 from the these all uh, degrees uh, which i have uh, which i have shown you heavy heavier heaviest the bag is heavy this bag is heavier than the black bag this bag is the heaviest in all bags that is first sentence i have used positive degree in second i have used comparative degree and in third i have used superlative now students we have uh, already in, uh, know and revise our comparative superlative and uh, uh positive degrees now here is um, and uh, mcqs form uh, exercise we have to solve it let's start sara is a dash girl clever more clever most clever is there any than is there any the the is an article but here we can say that it can an hint for the superlative degree and than is the hint for the comparative degree okay so here uh, it is just a simple sentence so we should write here sara is a clever girl you are dash than hamid then then is indicate that they should have to write the comparative degree better better is the right option here is my apple is the dash of all there is a the the is indicate that we should have to write here superlative degree sweet very sweet sweeter sweetest so right answer is sweetest arts in the dash uh, floor of this building up upper up uppermost very up the it means that superlative degree uppermost fara is dash than other workers of the factory there is a then it means that we should have to compare uh, things and um, what what can you say that industrious more industrious most industrial or very industrious so right answer is more industrious okay is that clear now now students it's time to have some look on the kinds of adjective that is um, uh, some inter, uh, information for you and it will help you a lot in your um, upcoming classes uh, adjective uh, there are some adjectives kinds and i have uh, written nine kinds first is possessive adjective isme sirf to malkiyat hi isme possession show ki jati hai jaise your bag your pen your pen is big your pen, uh, car is expensive tumhari gaadi expensive hai theek hai your ओके एब्सोल्यूट एडजेक्टिव डेट इज इज हम सिफ्ट मुकम्मल कहते हैं इसको ठीक है एब्सोल्यूट डेट इट मीन्स डेट द एवरी थिंग इज डन नाउ ठीक है एब्सोल्यूट इंग्लिश एब्सोल्यूट इंग्लिश दिस एडजेक्टिव एडजेक्टिव सॉरी नॉट इंग्लिश एडजेक्टिव दिज एडजेक्टिव और नॉन ग्रेडिबल एंड दे डू नॉट नॉर्मली हैव कंपेरेटिव और सुपरलेटिव फॉर्म इट समाइम इन कम्प्लीट दैन इट एंड एब्सोल्यूट क्वालिटी एब्सोल्यूट क्वालिटीज को शो करने के लिए हम एब्सोल्यूट एडजेक्टिव जिसे सिफ्ट मुकम्मल भी कहते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी कैन से डैट ये एक कदीम इमारत है वी कैन से डैट इट इज एन एंशियंट बिल्डिंग एंशियंट इज एन एब्सोल्यूट एडजेक्टिव वी कैन से डैट इट इज अम्पटी कैन absolute one that there is uh, no more anything else okay adjective of quality shift the quality jo hoti hai jaise he is a big man big is a quality theek hai the bag is uh, heavy it is a beautiful girl, uh, pet beautiful is an adjective you are very tall tall is an also adjective quality tell us quality bata rahe na hame uski so that is adjective of quality now we have adjectives of quantity it shows the quantity of something kisi cheez ki quantity batana like uh, there is a little milk in the jug ke uh, jug mein doodh kam hai thoda sa doodh hai little some enough most 100 half i have a half um, 
piece of bread half is also show the quantity adjectives of number isme sirf adadi isme numbers batate hain jaise i have 10 pencils the runner who comes first win a medal i am the lost uh, in this game okay like 60 few four no some first these are the examples of adjectives of number now we have adjectives of size as well like it is a small table it describe the amount of space someone or something occupies theek hai isme hame hujam pata chalta hai na isko kehte hain na hujam zahir karne wala is some shift एडजेक्टिव ऑफ साइज इसमें साइज के बारे में बताते हैं ये कहता है इज दिस अ लार्ज हाउस इट इज अ बिग ट्री ओके नाउ वी हैव द एडजेक्टिव ऑफ ओरिजिन दैट इज कॉल्ड सिर्फ मखज मखजी ठीक है इट मींस दैट इट डिस्क्राइब वेयर समथिंग कम्स फ्रॉम कि कौन सी चीज कहां से है लाइक आई लाइक पाकिस्तानीज फूड पाकिस्तानीज फूड पाकिस्तानीज इज कॉल्ड ओरिजिन लाइक आई लाइक अटालियन फूड वी बॉच अ वंडरफुल ओल्ड अटालियन क्लॉक दैट इज कॉल्ड ओरिजन ओके आई हैव अमेरिकन मैट इट इज एन इंग्लिश टेबल दैट इज कॉल्ड ओरिजन ओके नाउ वी हैव एजिक्टिव ऑफ शेप एजिक्टिव ऑफ शेप्स टेल अस अबाउट द शेप्स लाइक दिस इज नॉट अ राउंड टेबल इट डिस्क्राइब द शेप और अ फॉर्म ऑफ समथिंग ठीक है लाइक इट इज अव इट इज अ कर्वड पेंसिल देर इज अ बिग स्क्वायर ब्लू बॉक्स सो इट मीन्स डैट देर वी कैन टॉक अबाउट द शेप्स नाउ वी हैव एडजेक्टिव ऑफ कलर ऑल कलर आर रिलेटेड टू एडजेक्टिव ऑफ कलर आई हैव अ पेंग ड्रेस इट इज अ येलो पेंसिल सो दीज आर ऑल कॉल एडजेक्टिव ऑफ कलर नाउ we will again revise possessive possess, uh, possessive adjective that shows the possession uh, uh, like your house is big and his pillow was soft absolute adjective these are absolute adjectives are non gradable and uh, like this is an ancient building the flowers are near it that from coal adjectives of quality tell qualities quantities adjectives of number adjectives of size adjective of region belongs to where um, something comes from adjectives of shape tell the shapes adjective of color tells the color so you have to recall to your mind these are all kinds so students let's have a spoken sentences uh, practice uh, there are the two sentences uh, uh, today you should have to learn by heart uh, and practiced with your uh, circle uh, family friends and um, your siblings you should have to learn it by heart because when schools will be re- reopen then i will take the test from 6 and 7 classes of uh, spoken sentences and that will be oral test okay so there is a competition between the 6 and 7 class so should have to practice this a lot okay first word is uske daant mein dard hai she has got tooth ache she has got tooth ache kisi ke daant mein dard ho usse bola na ja raha ho to aap uski jagah bol sakte hain she has got tooth ache the second word is main tumhare dost ki haisiyat se bolta hu woh tumhe kya tum kyu bolte ho beech mein tum na bolo to woh kahe aage se aap jawab den ki main tumhare dost ki haisiyat se bolta hu that is i speak as your friend I speak as your friend. She has got tooth ache. उसके दांत में दर्द है I speak as your friend. मैं तुम्हें तुम्हारे दोस्त के ऐसे से बोलता हूँ After that we have the translation of this present continuous tense is RM plus ing form. You are familiar with it and we have done it um, uh, in our um, previous videos and also practice a lot I think. Now we have these sentences you should have to write on your notebook and after that you will make the sentences of your own. Mosladar bhari show rahi hai. Cats and dog. It is raining. Cats and dog. Mosladar barish ki English hoti hai. Cats and dog. Ustad ladko ko nahi padha raha hai. That is negative present continuous. Inspector sahab school ka moayna nahi kar rahe hai. Inspecting. Moayna ka nahi. Dikha hai. Inspector sahib is not inspecting the school. Okay. Uske baad kya tumhe sardi lag rahi hai. Feeling cold. Sardi lagne ki English hai. That is interrogative. Kya chan nikar raha hai. Nikalne ki English hoti hai. Appearing. Is the moon appearing? 
क्वेश्चन मार्क दरवाजा कौन खटखटा रहा है दिस इज ऑल्सो कन्वर्सेशनल सेंटेंसेज एंड यू कैन स्पीक इट हु इज नॉकिंग एट द डोर वो एस नॉकिंग एट द डोर जब आपका दरवाजा कोई खटखटा रहा हो आप बोल सकते हैं हु इज नॉकिंग एट द डोर सो यू शुड हैव टू राइट दीज सेंटेंसेस ऑन योर नोटबुक एंड आफ्टर डेट ट्रांसलेट इट इन टू इंग्लिश एंड दीज आर ऑल बिलोंग्स टू प्रेजेंट कॉन्टिन्यूस यू हैव टू लर्न इट एंड प्रैक्टिस इज अलॉट एंड अल्लाह हाफिज़